my fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Kamen Rider Core ID set from Kamen Rider Geats. So this is just a pack of a bunch of Core IDs and as you guys know Core IDs don't really do anything different in the Desire Driver but it's just really fun to collect these because they're kind of tiny and fun and there are so many different riders in the show and because they don't really do a ton they're fairly cheap to collect. So this is a really nice set. This gives us nine Core IDs. So right here on the front you can see we have Kamen Rider Shiro, we have Gimpen, Depan, Mary, Revice from the special, and then um, Keiro, I think this guy's name is. And then over here on the back, it shows us the other three, which are cracked versions. We have Gingpen, Buffa, and Shiro. So I think it's Shiro because that's how it's written in Katakana, but they romanize it as Shiro Wei, and I don't, I guess the W and E are just silent. It's very strange. I'm going to go with Shiro because, you know, Shiro is white and he's a polar bear, so. I think that's what they're going for, but either way, this is a really cool little set. Uh, I love the packaging. Very tiny, very simple. You just have the nine core IDs just in here in plastic bags. Uh, but yeah, really fun little box. I'm going to go ahead and get them out of here, and we'll take a closer look. So here are nine new core IDs. I have to admit, I think Revice is my favorite, really, just for the color scheme. It looks absolutely fantastic with that nice blue, and then you have the metallic magenta there. Really looks sharp. Uh, previously on my channel, I think I did a short for the Vice Core ID. So it's nice to finally have both of these as well. And they don't really do a ton, but when we pop it in... Just says entry. It can't read these or anything, but the light shines through. Next up we have Depan was very prominent in the first couple episodes, kind of that first arc. Shockingly, we do not have a cracked version of Depan in this set. We just have Depan. Uh, we took a look at, I think the second set for this has already been released, and it did not include a cracked Depan, so I don't know if they're ever going to do that, but at least we have the regular version of him. Uh, next up, we have the cracked version of Buffa, which, as you guys know, if you've been following along, very important to the story of the show and really just looks fantastic. They do a great job with all that nice silver paint there on the cracks. Really, really looks sharp. Next up, we have Gingpen, and we also have the cracked version of Gingpen. And this guy was uh, somewhat important in the show. He was very important to um, Tycoon. I think he worked in the same place, or I think you know, he went in and saw him for an interview or something like that. In any case, he knew him, and he was kind of bummed when he was disqualified, we'll say. But again, both of these just look absolutely fantastic. And then we have Shiro, who was, I think, in the first episode only. I think he got eliminated very quickly, but again, the cracked versions always look so nice. Both of these look fantastic. And then... Rounding up here, we have Mary, who was in the show for a decent bit. And this is just a nice, you know, you don't get too many pink ones. And I just love the color of this, and it looks really great. And then last but not least, we have Cairo, who I honestly don't remember very much from the show. Um, I think he was the owl, I think. Um, obviously, we had Ginpen use this helmet, and obviously Nudge Sparrow is using the helmet now. So I don't think this guy was around for too long. But it's this lovely shade of brown. <laughs> but it's a really nice set. Honestly, I love having more core IDs. Like I said, it was fairly inexpensive. I think it was somewhere in the area of $40 for the set. Uh, which honestly, you know, when you're getting nine of these things, it breaks down to around $5 a piece, which I think is pretty fair for these. Nicely detailed, nicely painted, especially the cracked versions are really nicely painted. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, pop in a couple of these, and just do, you know, a couple of transformation with some buckles that are very prominent. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I just wanted to do, you know, a couple transformations for fun with these. So first up, we'll load in Depan. And we saw him use Magnum pretty prominently on the show. Magnum 
Next up, we'll try Revice. Now, I haven't seen the special, but on the box, it looks like he is using Beat. And last, but certainly not least, we have Cracked Buffer. I think this is a really fun little set. Yes, there's really not much in terms of functionality. They all just make the entry sound when you pop them into the Desire Driver, but they're really just fun to collect, and they're not really that expensive. I think $40 for a set of nine of them is pretty fair, and they all look great, especially the ones with the cracks. You know, they have that beautiful silver paint, really pops and shines. I mean, I think Revice is probably my favorite, but Cracked Buffa is probably a very close second. They both just look really, really fun. Love the color schemes for them. And honestly, all of these look pretty good, and they're just kind of fun to collect. You know, you can, you know, pop them in since there were so many different riders. It would be really cool if the Desire Driver had unique sounds for them, but I completely understand why it can't. And I think later on they're coming out with some ID sets that are going to actually have sounds inside them individually. And that way when you pop it in, like, that will play the sound instead of the driver. And I don't know why they didn't just do that from the beginning. I guess just so they could sell it to us a second time, which, okay, good work, I guess. But it would have been nice if they all had that functionality from the beginning. Because it would get add even more value. But again, because they don't really do ton and they're just kind of, you know, hollow plastic... They're very cheap, and especially for a premium band, I said, I thought it was very reasonable. And so it's not too bad to collect a bunch of these, which can be a lot of fun. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.